Hello, my name is Nathan and I'm in my fourth and final year of mechanical and mechatronic engineering at the University of Cape Town. Uh, I'm making this video today to document a um, project I worked on over the holidays. Uh, so basically part of my degree is that um, I have to work at an engineering firm for uh, six weeks. And so at the company I worked at, I had to uh, automate a process. So the system I had to automate was a measurement procedure um, uh, measurement procedure basically a guy had to uh, move a sensor within a room or in fact a lab environment and then he would have to leave the room um, while the sensor takes its reading and then he would have to move um, the sensor to a new position in the room um, the sensor was propped up on a tripod and um, uh, this process was naturally quite laborious and inefficient so I was tasked with automating the system and so I decided to um, find a solution to that. To automate this procedure, I had to um, develop a some kind of robot that would take the readings um, with the sensor without the need for um, an operator or a person to be in the room. Um, so if, at first I thought of like a robot that would go along the ground, maybe like a gantry system with like an elevator, uh, and this proved like too difficult um, for me. Uh, so. A more simple solution is a cable-driven parallel robot. And initially I um, heard about these through spider cams or sky cam, which are these cameras that um, move along a stadium um, uh, field and they record like um, uh, the game. Um, so, and these types of robots move um, based on cables. So each cable is connected to an end effector, which um, in sky cam and spider cam have a camera. But in my project, I would have a sensor. So these cables all connect to an end effector and from the end effector they join to pulleys in each other corner of a lab environment or any room for that matter. And those um, pulleys then join to motors in the corner of the room. And depending on whether you reel in or reel out of these motors, um, this adjusts the, the length of the cables. And um, if you know the length of the cables at any one time um, during the operation, you can theoretically move an end effector, which is the central point, to any um, point within the environment. And so I have um, made one of these and um, I'd like to uh, document it and share it on YouTube. Uh, okay, I think it is best now for me to show you how this uh, robot works um, and show it in action so that you can more intuitively understand what I'm talking about. Um, and in the rest of the video, I'll explain some challenges I faced and um, how I implemented the code uh, to control the robot. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. setup looks it has four NEMA 1748 mil motors one two three and four and it is controlled by an Arduino Uno which is connected to four stepper motor drivers which are the A4988 um, driver modules and they each have decoupling capacitors um, and the, the whole system is powered by a 12 volt 3 ampere power supply here and to power the driver modules, I have connected the five volts in the ground from the Arduino to the boards. Um, so that's the general setup. I'm sure you can find many videos online on how to wire these up. However, I will provide the wiring diagram and um, any necessary steps in how to achieve this um, in the description of the video. 